So a black salon owner was racially profiled by Quebec police. They showed up at her salon unannounced, unexpected, no notice, and searched her premises. Take a look at this. It's normal for them to just do that and violate a business and just start looking around and trying to make us feel like we were doing something bad. Excuse me. He told me I'll, I need to go see what's in the bag. They didn't even give me a reason. It was just suspicious. What's suspicious about a black man taking out trash? The other police officer is following him very closely, like he was looking for a reaction out of him. You will never understand the, the, um, the fear that I had when I saw the police officer following my brother. Um, I was scared for his life. Stephanie says she feared an escalation, especially since she says police have been keeping an eye on her business ever since she opened her doors in November. The interaction on the evening of June 10th caught on her security cameras. Do you have a piece of ID? But they're looking at my brother. Why? Give them my idea. And I was embarrassed because I had a client there. And for me, I was just scared. I just wanted them to leave as soon as soon as possible so I can just go about my business. Montreal police tell City News they had reason to believe there was an infraction regarding an alcohol permit and information is now submitted to an investigator. I just go about my days because oh, they didn't find anything, but they don't think about the repercussion that I have now. I'm a business. I am the street. Other businesses saw, that, saw this. With racial profiling, it's we always have to um, justify herself, and they came to us. They they don't follow any protocol. I hope that things will change. So they entered the premises, didn't say anything. They saw her brother going towards the back. She had asked her brother to go get the trash bags and bring them out to put them to the front because trash day was the following day. They followed her brother to the back. And while they were walking towards the back, she stopped them and she said, excuse me, may I help you? I'm the owner of this salon. And they said, oh, we just want to go and see what's back there. So they were following her brother. And you do note that the sister said that the one of the officers was really, really close to her brother. That was what he was trying to do to provoke her brother and also stay really, really close to him in the event that he should just nudge a little bit by mistake because he's so close to him and they would have attacked him, they would have assaulted him, they would have accused him of assaulting an officer. They were looking for trouble. So when they got to the back, they looked around, she showed them around and then they left. They also questioned her and said that they received some bogus report about her serving alcohol in the salon. That's a lie. There's no alcohol there. However, there is a bar next door. So they claim to have seen some bottles of alcohol in front of her salon. Well, there's a bar next door and it's trash day. So perhaps some of those bottles rolled out and ended up on the floor and ended up in front of her salon, which again, I say is right next door to the bar. And there we have it finding a reason to make trouble for a black owned salon. You heard that, you know, the police had been surveilling her spots since she opened. That is common practice. When a black person opens up a business in the racist province of Quebec, they are watching everything you're doing. They'll either be parked outside the establishment or across the street or just a few meters down for months. They do the same thing in Ontario and pretty much across Canada. As long as you're opening up in an affluent neighborhood where you might only be one of two or the only black owned shop or establishment, this is what they will do. And then of course they find a reason, they pick their moment and then they come and start trouble. This sister is considering uh, filing a complaint with the Quebec uh, Human Rights Commission. Um, so far, there hasn't been any further reports about it. She did not get a ticket or was not charged with anything, which is great. However, none of this should have happened, aside from the fact that this is 
Quebec, and this is how the police are. And I have two words, body cam. Still no body cams for these racist police officers. And because of that, they feel very emboldened and very empowered to torment our people. Let me know what you think about this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next upload. And subscribe to my YouTube channel, EA Public Relations, where I report on Black-owned businesses in the Niagara region, events all across the province of Ontario as well. Until next time, please be safe, everyone. Peace be.